guys. It's a little bit later. I've taken a nap. Um, yeah, but just an update. So I was wanting to show you guys that I have gotten stretch marks on my tummy. They came in around week 31. So they're here and you can, I, I did mess up and scratch my stomach earlier. So some of it is kind of inflamed, but they literally look like flames on my tummy. I'm trying to still moisturize and like, Make sure my stomach isn't like dry because it freaking like itches so bad if I don't moisturize, which I always moisturize, but you know. But just letting you know the reality of the situation <laughs> is that stretchies have come. I call them stretchies. And yeah, my belly is definitely about to pop. It doesn't look too bad from far away. It's just, <sighs> it just looks like flames are just like rising up my belly. But anything for my baby boy to be healthy and grow how he's supposed to. <laughs> His foot's right here. And also, I came home to another package and Geraldine, my friend, got me these Cozy Izod, um, who are they by? I think they're by Izod. I'm not sure. I'll link it. No, they're by Zizor. And they are slippers that actually have a back on them. So now I have like slip on slippers and now I have these. These are so cozy. Oh my gosh, thanks so much. I love them. Hey guys, just got back from Candle Day at Bath and Body Works. Got my beautiful bag. Show you guys what I got from the stole. So I got four candles. Vario got five. So together we got nine, right? Yeah. Sorry, my head's hurting. But I got four candles. It already smells so good in here. They were $9.95 this year instead of $8. So they upped the price a little bit, but it's fine. So I got fresh balm how do you say that balm balsam balm fresh balm it smells so good it smells like a christmas tree that's one of the ones i picked up it smells like a christmas tree i'm about to like this one right now it smells so good then i got the tis the season candle classic christmas candle it smells like christmas time fall um fall mixed with winter it smells so good so i got that one and then I also, sorry, sorry, I was fixing a curtain. I also picked up this winter candle. This one, love the uh, packaging. It smells like winter, like a, like a sweetie winter. I don't know how to describe this one. It says white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, spice clove with essential oils. It smells really good like a Christmassy scent and the last one I got is actually a stress relief candle by um, aromatherapy I got eucalyptus and tea this one was recommended by the associate smells really nice and light like exactly what I want I oh, love that so eucalyptus and tea this is a new one for me it smells so good I don't like overpowering scents um, so this one is really nice I love that it smells so good Okay, but yeah, that's what I got from Candle Day. Mario got a lot of the black ties and um, mahogany teak wood. He likes those like more like manly scents. So he got those. He loves those, and he just stocked up on those ones. Um, but yeah, we have successfully got Candle Day done. Yay! I don't go too crazy like a lot of people do. I just like to get a few and like you know have a few in rotation. So yeah, thanks for watching this part. Bye. All right, guys, so I just went to Trader Joe's and I really want to make a charcuterie board that's pregnancy friendly. I've never made one of these before. So I just figured that I would try my luck at Trader Joe's. I know they have a lot of like those little ingredients that go well on the board. So I wanted to try it out. Um, and I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. I got some things for that and also some miscellaneous things. So 
Really quick, I got another apple juice because I've been obsessed with these. They're so good. Um, crackers, Vario got the garlic non crackers and then I picked up the scallop track, uh, cracker trio and it comes with rosemary, red chili and garlic crackers. Um, I saw these in a video and they looked really good. I got this cheese tray which has Colby, Jack cheese, Swiss cheese, mild and pepper jack cheese. Um, I got this strawberry dram which I've had before, it's so so good. Really good on toast and stuff like that. I got these marinated olives to go on my board. I got some sweet and juicy mangoes, dried mango. These are really good, I've had these before. Uh, my favorite hummus is the Mediterranean hummus. I love the topping on top, it's so good. Um, my favorite water crackers, got those. Mario picked up these olive and herb mixed nuts. I got more of my vanilla Greek yogurt, love that. Some borsum cheese, this cheese is really good. Garlic and fine herbs. This is new sun-dried apricots. I got these because they were really cheap and I saw that people use them on their boards. I don't even know if I like apricots, but they're like $1.99, so I picked them up. Mario got these cinnamon grams. We picked up some fig butter, and this was like the actu actual last one, so I guess it's good. I've never had fig butter before, so I'll try that out. Then I got this snack bar mix. It's so good. Actually, I was eating some in the car, and I ate like half the thing already. Really good. And then I saw that they had a spicy one, so I wanted to get that one too. Um, it just has like some jalapeno ones, like parts in there, so we got those two. Um, these cranberry and um, white chocolate oatmeal cookies looked really good, so I picked those up. And then I got the unexpected cheddar cheese to use on my board. For grapes, I got the uh, grape medley with green and... Uh, purple grapes. I got some Envy apples in here. Vario wanted more of his everyday seasoning. I got Metro's little treats. Um, <laughs> and then we needed more Earth Balance. And then I also, I'm going to try the spiced chai in the morning with some almond milk. I heard this was really, really good. And every time I go, they never have it, but tonight they had it. So I picked that up. So yeah, I'm going to assemble my little board on my cutting board here and then see how it goes. Pray for me. Let's see what fig butter tastes like. Hmm. I can see how it would be good with possibly the cheese. So there's 
so good. So, I think we're all set with my board. I've been eating this apple. Let me show you guys what we have. So here is our cheese tray or charcuterie board. I didn't put everything that I got on here because I just don't want to overdo it, but we've got some fig butter, the unexpected cheddar, the cheese assortment, apples, grapes, water crackers, garlic crackers, some of that little snack bar mix, dried apricots, olives, and some hummus back there. It looks really good. What do you guys think? Love it. So cute. I can't have any meats on here because not good for pregnancy and I also can't have any soft cheeses which is so sad because I would love some goat cheese on here but can't do it. All right, I'm about to dig in. I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, update, this was really good. This cheese, this unexpected cheddar is a little bit overpowering for me, but I really like the cheese sampler, as you guys can see. <laughs> Grapes are really good, I just got full. I'm not a big peanut person. I ate all of the olives, those are really good. Of course, hummus is great. Apricots are okay, um, crackers are really good, so I ate a good amount of it. <laughs> I'm full now. Whew. Good morning, guys, it is Saturday. Um, we are headed to Marshall's to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Huh? No, the long one. And, um, yeah, we're gonna go do that. We want to get Christmas shopping done as soon as possible. I've gotten majority, majority of my stuff done. Like, I only have, like, maybe two more things for people to get. So I'm happy about that and yeah, we just want to relax the rest of December because the week of Christmas I'm uh, full term so we, we nobody has time for that. So yeah, we're gonna go to the stores and we'll see what we find. Guys, if you guys have a house or a kid or an apartment, these are just awesome. Like you gotta have magic erasers in the house because let me show you, exhibit A. Even when like you move into a place you get like scuff marks on your walls But like this has been bothering me because Vario scuffed the wall up right here and like that Yes, because you dropped the present But this with this is just gonna remove it off and that's how my walls look so clean. So these Awesome five dollars at Target and I actually like cut them because they come in like these long things I cut them so that I have more they come like this and I just cut it in half and then I get eight of them which makes it even better okay just a product shout out and then we also got a tree skirt Mario got this for the tree from Marshall's 20 bucks looks really good I'm gonna put all the presents that we have already wrapped back under there and we want to change up the ornaments because we're not sold on these and I told her before we should get some I said we should get black and gold and what you say I don't want them black and gold, blah, blah. And then she went and got black and gold wrapping. And look at this. Who wants blue on a Christmas tree? Just, just trash. Shut up. Just bad decision making. But I understand, you know. Uh, Can baby, you write mine off? Baby H is in there running them up, so she can't make decisions. So I'm going to get us right because. So don't even look at that. Metro, you don't like it. Look at this face. It's ugly, ain't it? Look at that blue stuff. Ain't no sickness in this house. Okay, okay. This is a Kappa household. This is a, a new. Household right here. Anyways, we got a lot of Christmas presents. I also got this nightgown and it's so soft. It was only $10 from Marshall's. I'm gonna wear it tonight. 
But yeah, lots of gifts that we got. Um, I also got some stuff for our my hospital bag. I ended up going ahead and getting the Freedom Mom Perry bottle because so many people have been mentioning it. And I also got um, a nipple shield uh, because Vario's um, cousin told me that this is really good for breastfeeding, just to have as like a barrier for your nipple. And I got some uh, Polaroid film because I want to be able to take some Polaroids of my belly and a baby when he comes. So, got that. Um, but yeah. I think we're gonna go film the nursery tour now. Um, so we just went to Five Below, got our long charger cables for the hospital because everyone says that you need long chargers for your phone. I'm bringing my lightning charger. I don't like third party accessories personally. He'll learn when the plug is all the way across the room. I just let it stay. I mean, a lightning charger charges the phone like oh, yeah. We're time, gonna be there so. for a day, a, at least a day. He doesn't know. He'll understand when we get there. Uh, anybody who got iPhones know that third party accessories is not the way. Your yeah, phone but you all, need a long charger. Your phone be all hot on the back. Okay, so. But we got those just to have in the room so, you know, we can use our phones when we're sitting there. And now we're going to get some ramen, I think. It's Sunday. It's a really nice day. Nice and uh, sunny. So, yeah. Just whipped up this taco salad bowl. I already gave Vario his. His looked way better than mine, but this should be really good. I can't wait to try it out. Okay, so my dad came through with the dessert. He even labeled it with a family name on it. <laughs> so what did you make? Sweet potato pie. Wow. So hopefully you guys like it. And how do you figure this recipe out? Just uh, figured it out. <laughs> Like, is grandma telling you exactly well, what to I, do? you know, grandma, you know, I had to try to keep the recipes in the family. And grandma helped me out, so she gave me the basics. And then I just went and she said, just taste, taste, taste until you get the, you know, the, the pudding right to go inside the pie. So hopefully you guys like it. I don't know. Awesome. Did you want to show it? This is what it looks like. Been getting into baking during the quarantine. This is for my little baby. Oh, looks very good. It's for my grandson. I don't really know what can have some too. sweet potato probably tastes like. Yeah. I never uh, ate it. My mommy always likes it. Yeah, hope y'all like it. I like it, man. Awesome. I yeah. wanted a pie last night. Yep, yeah, so I go to pie. That'd Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy your pie. There you go. Good morning, guys. It is. Um, <clears throat> oh my god, it's Wednesday, and I got a package from H&M, and the clothes are just so cute. I had to show you guys what we got. Like, I pulled out the first thing, and I was like, I have to show this. So, disregard my appearance. I have not been feeling the best today. Just like weird. Some days I get like this. Some days I have a lot of energy. Some days I don't. So, I don't know. <laughs> But let me show you guys what he got in the mail today. So the first thing is this little, um, all this stuff is a newborn because I've realized like looking at his inventory, they didn't have much like clothes for when he comes home and it's gonna be freezing when he comes home cause he's due in January. So I wanted to make sure he had like little things like that. So I got most of these clothes in one to two months. Um, but I had like 30% off. It's when H&M was doing 30% off. All the stuff is from H&M. So he got this little suede sweatsuit. It's literally like suede material. It's so cute. Look at this little thing. I love the color. We're all about the nudes. Look at that. So cute. So that's one thing. Let's see what else we got. Also got uh, this little two-piece set. So this has like little elephants on it with these little pants. <laughs> Look at these little pants. I don't even think you guys can see like how small this stuff really is. But so cute. You got this little outfit. Let's see what else. He didn't have a lot of stuff with with like actual pants on it so that's why i really wanted to focus this shop on like some 
some items with actual pants or like footies on them because it's just gonna be so cold. So I got him these little pants. These came in a two pack, like nude polka dot, um, this color, love that. And then a gray pair. So we got those. Also got this pack of onesies and they're newborn. It's like some stuff like runs big. So this one is, these are pretty big. Like he could probably wear these. Well, I don't know how big he's gonna be, but they're, they're definitely not the size of some of the other newborn stuff I have already. So we got a pack of three of these onesies. So this one's just like this brown color. And this is newborn size, but it's it's pretty bigger than everything else. So, And I've seen that with some of the other onesies I've gotten from H&M, but that's fine with me. More use, more wear, and then a white one. So that was a three pack of those. And then the last thing he got, super cute, this little hooded onesie, zip up. It has like little polar bear, or wait, what is this? Yeah, polar bears, penguins, seals on it. Super cute. Love that. This looks really nice and warm. And this is also newborn size, but it's a pretty big, like it doesn't look like it's newborn. I don't know, big newborn. So yeah, that's all the stuff he got. I just wanted to show you guys. I love this stuff. I think it's so cute. Um, a good variety of colors and different things that he can wear, especially when he comes here and gets born because it's going to be freezing. Um, it's already like 30 degrees right now outside, so I know when he comes in January, it's going to be even colder. So yeah, that's what he got. I'm very happy with this purchase. And I, oh wait, there's something else. He also got another set of onesies. That's the best feeling when there's something else. And this one has little elephants on it. Super cute with kind of like that same magenta teal color. That was a two pack. Super cute, love it. So he has all these clothes that I need to go wash and put up in his closet. Love it, love the color schemes here. So nice. H&M, I love their baby clothes, they're so cute.